Things are starting to get back to normal here at Palisades Tahoe after Wednesday's deadly avalanche, but some skiers are still wary, knowing a second avalanche happened just 27 hours later. Reinforcements coming down from above. A group of skiers do a probe search Thursday afternoon following another avalanche at Palisades Tahoe. This is on the Alpine side of the resort near Wolverine Bowl. I kind of couldn't believe what I saw at first. Olympic Valley resident Craig Hamilton tells me he spotted the aftermath of the avalanche from the ski lift when he was in between runs. I look over there and I'm like, what? There's a massive avalanche debris slide right down the middle of the bowl that hadn't been there the last lift ride up, the last run. Palisades Tahoe confirms with KCRA 3 that the avalanche happened around 1230 Thursday afternoon. Resort staff say Ski Patrol did avalanche control before opening the ski area, which is common after recent snowfall. After the avalanche, crews did beacon and record reflector searches and eventually used probes, which Hamilton decided to help out with. They handed them out to us and lined us up in a row all the way across the debris field. If I was buried in that debris field, I would hope that anyone who could possibly get there would help. Luckily, no skiers or employees were caught in the snow, but this comes just one day after Wednesday morning's avalanche by the KT-22 chairlift on the Palisade side of the resort. 66-year-old Kenneth Kidd died in the slide and three others were hurt. Palisades Tahoe staff doing avalanche control Thursday morning to help with safety. Skiers returned after the resort shut down Wednesday, but some say it's scary. Two avalanches happened at the same resort just one day apart. The reality that it has now happened two days in a row inbounds avalanches yesterday that did kill someone and today certainly could have killed someone. Hamilton believes the resort is doing everything it can, but adds that even as an avid skier, he is taking it easy. I know I'm going to be much more cautious uh, about just where I'm skiing. The ski lift near the second avalanche site reopened after the area was cleared, but a resort spokesperson tells me he's unsure if the KT-22 lift will be open on Friday. Reporting from Palisades Tahoe, Orcomana KCRA 3 News.